about trimming up, cleaning up the edges of the figure before I start the detail. This is all done by hand. Chisels have to be very, very sharp. This compared to a razor that I shave with in the morning is pretty close to the same. The difference is the steel is carbon steel. It's much harder than the stainless steel that would be in a razor blade. tool has two cutting edges. One you can see here is beveled, very fine, and this side is flat. If I take the flat edge, I can more or less plane it out like a hand plane and make it smooth. use the beveled edge, I can use that to cut away like a knife. the leaves are all done, I will take, add a little bit of life or texture to the leaves. This will add an extra dimension to the leaves to make them look more realistic. Not a lot of depth into these cuts, whereas a knife cut uh, to make it stand out would be deeper. This is more or less just a contour. You may not even notice these cuts unless there would be a shadow cast to them.
again this oak is very very hard and if my tools are not razor sharp they won't cut they'll tear and that's something I don't want to do uh, take a scraper This will smooth out the edges. Add definition to my contour. This is a tool that Dremel put out oh probably 25 years ago. I don't even know if they have them anymore. But they are so handy for just this particular type of thing. I'm not doing so much cutting as I am scraping. This also smooths out what is supposed to be the definition of the leaf and smoothing it at the same time will make a lot less sanding that I have to do. see my arthritis is giving me fits today we're in the middle of a front coming in and it has a tendency to uh, really act up some of my joints And that repeated over the next two or three days and stuff is how I will get the texture done and closer to the finishing stage. show you a little bit more later as I get more done. Thank you.